Maya. Fucking mama. Hi. My name is what? What's up, everybody? What's good? So this day three, three in Costa Rica. We're heading to La Fortuna. I'm here with the fam. Say hi, vlog, everybody. Hi, vlog. That's right. So we're heading to La Fortuna. That's uh, it's another volcano, but it's like almost three hours away. So we have to spend the night there, and we're gonna see a couple waterfalls and some other shit. Yeah, you'll see it in the rest of the video. But um, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, I know by the time you guys see this video, you guys are gonna be like, yo, you're supposed to be a daily vlogger. You haven't posted anything. But trust me, guys, it's been so hard. We've been jet lagged. I haven't been able to edit. There's no Wi-Fi, and it's just been crazy. So hopefully when I get to where I get to, I get time to edit all the other videos, and you guys already watched them and enjoyed them. And then by the time you watch this one, you'll enjoy a little bit of the road trip to uh, La Fortuna. So stay tuned for more. Nice, yo. Yo, so we're here. Uh, we made a quick stop. We're gonna look at the river here in the Fortuna. It's lit. I'm here with the cousin. Say what's up, cuz. What's up? All right, so we're gonna go look at the uh, the river, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go do this thing. Yeah. Nice here though. Oh, look at that ant, bro, just carrying everything. Okay. You happy, mommy? Are you happy, mommy? So we're here in Fortuna Centro, in the middle, and uh, you really can't see it. I'm actually kind of bummed out because it looks like it's gonna rain. But that is um, Volcan Arenal. Um, it's um, one of the only volcanoes here in Costa Rica that's shaped like a cone. And this is the actual uh, little town that's right next to it, which is actually really, I don't know, really curious. Let's check it out. Yeah. Eat a <laughs> this is a tutorial of how not to eat a mamon. What? <laughs> this is how mamon chino, yo. This is the best fruit in my hands down from Costa Rica to me. I know that Costa Rica has different. Uh, those These are nonsense. Oh, okay, I might eat those. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna give you. Me and my sister are gonna give you a quick tutorial of how to eat these. People are like, oh my god, you put those in your mouth. Hey, put that in your mouth and then you squeeze that. You squeeze it, boy. And you put it in your mouth. It's like a big grape. Yeah. But you peel it. You see the, the seed? There's a seed in there. There's a seed in the middle. The, you're taking the meat out of the seed. Yeah. So, so you eat the meat around the seed. You see? It's getting clean. And you're licking it. And you peel it. So, when you finish with it, it should look like this. Just a seed. It's lit. I was scared. Maya! My daughter's enjoying the trip. Are you enjoying the trip, mommy? Maya. 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 Monkey. 
Maya. Hi, Maya. What's up, photo shoot? Of my daughter. Maya. That's basically what this chick was for. Maya. <laughs> you guys have no idea. How much I love these. Story time. Um, one time, me and my sister, we were little, and we came to Costa Rica, and um, our grandfather took us to our a, biological grandfather. Our biological grandfather took us to be a story time for that soon. Yeah, soon. He took us to like a farm. Was it like a farm? Oh, like a, like a ranch. Yeah. And um, the guy cultivated like yuca and like uh, mamoncino and stuff like that. And my little fat ass actually got up the tree and would grab mamoncino. That's the first time I discovered mamoncinos. Yeah. We would pick them and just eat them from there. Shit was lit. And we would kill birds with slingshots. Yes. We, no, we, didn't, we, we didn't. We didn't know what we were doing. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. A funny Mexico story. One time. One time, my cousin. Shout out to my cousin. He made tacos. She found la planta mojada. I don't know what it's that like is, bro. It's like an inside story, cause she went to go pee on the side in the ranch. We were in the ranch on the mountains. She's like, I have to go pee really bad. So we're like, okay, we'll pee right there by that plant. <laughs> And she ended up being all wet. She wet her whole pants and everything. So we called it La Planta Moja. Planta Moja. Hashtag Planta Moja. Okay, so one of the interesting things about this place is that um, it's a lot of tourism here. Uh, a lot of people from different places of the world come here. There's a lot of Canadians. There's a lot of Americans. Uh, different peoples from Europe. And they come to this one little small town. And it's so weird because there's a lot of an American vibe to it. All, this, all the signs are like in English. Um, there's a lot of people speaking English that, that I've heard since I got off the bus and I don't know it, it kind of saddens me because it, it kind of takes away from the actual natural feel of being in another country but I think the only thing that evens it out is the scenery of how it, it's different you know like it's just different so a quick update, we came to check the house that we're gonna stay in and I'm not gonna lie, I was scared as shit, right babe? Yeah, see the shit bricks. I was shitting bricks because we're passing through like this bad neighborhood and there were like drunk people everywhere and then we were asking directions to this guy and he was like oh i don't know where i'm at or nothing <laughs> but but now <laughs> yeah but we have an excellent driver that's the driver they got all our driver can we thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> and, oh we're like basically in the middle of the rainforest i'm looking down i'm not looking at you guys we're trying to fish here. Oh, sh <laughs> hey, Maya. Maya. Fluffy, my amor. Oh, we're here in the oh shit. We're here in the thermal water. It's uh, you want to explain to them what kind of water this is? Is um, like a river that comes down the, the volcano uh -huh. and it is hot and the people from around the volcano they dug they, they, yeah, they excavated they excavate uh -huh. to find the, the hot water from there they they do pools hot pools so it's basically like a hot springs with natural water that was they yeah. excavated down the ground to find like like the vein of the volcano where all the steamy hot water comes from and from there they made ponds so um, and they regulate it so basically each pond has a different temperature this is the starting point if you keep going back there it gets hotter and hotter and hotter as you go 
But with that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys like my videos, I know I haven't been posting. By the time y'all see this video, you're going to be like, damn, by the time he posted. But give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Right, cuz? Yeah, that's right. And uh, tell your friends I'm lame. I don't give a fuck, but just give me the view, bro. <laughs> Mucho amor en el alma, ellas quieren de verdad. Hay que ver a las cartagas.